Hi. Today we will see, how to create a fun HTML page for Valentine's Day. First, let's see how this works. Here we have a video running. Then there is a question asking, will you be my Valentine? And then there are two buttons. Green yes button, and, red no button. What if you send this to your wishful loved one, and that person presses the no button straight away? Let's try it ourselves. So as you can see, upon clicking the no button, the page asked the person for further confirmation, until it turned it into a yes, automatically. And simultaneously, the size of the green button is increasing a bit. But, what if, the person is also interested, and presses the yes button in the first go? Well, then your day just got better. I saw this HTML page idea on Instagram and decided to make it myself. Now, let's see how the code works. This is my HTML file. Here we have all the basic HTML, head, meta, and title tags. Then we have the style tag for CSS. We will see this later. First, let's check the body of this page. In the body tag, we have a div tag, whose class is named container. Inside that, we have an image tag. This tag possesses a GIF file. It is this file, that plays that video animation on the page. You may use your own GIF file. Just make sure that, the GIF file is placed in the same folder as this HTML file. Then we have the text, will you be my valentine? Then we have two buttons, yes and no. Have a look at the class names of these buttons. Now let's see that CSS part that will beautify these HTML elements. So here, inside this head tag, we have a style tag, that holds our CSS code. First, we place the entire div tag with the container class, at the center of the screen, like this. This is the CSS of the two buttons. This is the CSS of the yes button in particular. The color is set to green. This is the CSS of the no button in particular. The color is set to red. And then we close this style tag. Now, our HTML components are ready, and their CSS is ready. It is time to code some functionality in it. To do that, below the div tag, we have a script tag. This will hold the JavaScript code, that will add some functionality to our buttons. First, we access the yes and no buttons, using their respective IDs, like this. We have a click count variable, whose default value is zero. We will see it's working below. Then, we have created an array of several texts, that will be shown one after another, as the user clicks the no button continuously. This is on click listener of the no button. When the red button is clicked, we get one text at a time from the text array and set it as the title of this red button. We keep on increasing the click count. When the click count reaches 5, that means the user has clicked the no button for the fifth time now. Then, we remove the no button altogether, and, set the title of the green button as, yes, I do. If the click count is yet to reach the threshold of 5, we keep on increasing the size of the green button by 1.5 times its current size. And this is the on-click listener of the green button. If the person using this HTML page directly clicks the green yes button, then, we remove the red button altogether and change the title of the green button to a heart emoji. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thanks for watching.